Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Horatrak and we are playing Hegemony 3 together with the newest DLC, The Eagle King. We're playing on expert difficulty as Syracuse. Welcome back. Um, the technical situation that we're in is actually quite good. Uh, we got all the native cities of our lands. Uh, now to gain more hegemony or to gain the hegemony over all the other people, which is what we want because that's how the game is named. Um, we have to push further. We're controlling this part of Sicily. Um, and I think our next strategic goal would be to take control over this crossing, this crossing, this crossing, this crossing, and any crossings that might be over here. Just to sort of wall that off and give us a, a piece of land that we can defend and hold on to our heartland. Um, that's a thing. Um, well, I'm actually quite happy. A lot of people do want to be generals in the game. Um, I've put you all on a list, um, except for um, Awesome is my username, who I um, who, um, I changed to Kratistos. Everyone brought uh, good Greek names. Um, Kratistos is basically um, the uh, superlative of, of Awesome um, uh, in, in Greek, so... <laughs> That's that's gonna happen now. Who are we gonna? Um, who are we gonna name Christophoros? That's uh, Chris Magi. Um, gotta, I guess I gotta pull you out first. <laughs> and then maybe if I, maybe if I bring you here. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, Euphemius of Akrai is now. Christophoros, welcome. Okay, you you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna go back and become a governor. All oh, right. Okay, so you have to go in first, and then we got this guy. I think we bribed you actually. You're not too great because you <laughs> push up the food consumption and the recruitment rate. But I mean, what can you do? We got to take the um. Yeah, the recruitment rate is good, but the food consumption increased by thirty percent is um not the greatest thing. That's just um, a bit of a problem. So, Telesphoros, you're no longer called Telesphoros. You are Patricios. Welcome. Um, you're going to stay in there. Um, I'm not sure which city actually does need the increased recruitment rate. Currently, we are fine on recruits. It's going to change um, as soon as we get into more prolonged engagements. I'm going to appoint you as the governor of the city. Um, actually... I do want to make you um, also a citizen of the city, so I'm going to appoint this as your as your home city. Okay, right. Now it might be a little bit of a waste to have that general hang out there, do nothing, but the the increase in food consumption is actually pretty bad. Um, so we're going to keep you in our back pocket, Patricius. Um, and only apply you if we have a city that really needs to get its recruits up because we're gonna we're gonna specialize the cities to for example only build cavalry down here in the in Heloros or maybe maybe cavalry might might best be built in Akrai. Ah, we put a tax thing there so that's fine I guess and we put nothing in here but I mean we might actually want to use that as our port city but we've got a couple of other port cities so it's not really necessary yeah we could make this into our cavalry city. And then these guys are gonna are gonna need recruits, and we're gonna um, put you there. You also have a recruit. We got Hasphoros of Heloros, and well, actually we got another one over here. Uh, where are you? You. Um, come on. Hello. We're gonna name you. You're no longer gonna be Olympus of Gela, which is already kind of weird because you are a woman you should be called olympos um because that's the the male ending we're gonna call you kione um of gela yeah why not ah no no we'll keep it like that okay um not sure if we actually want you attached to the spearman that's not really a thing that we need um, we still haven't gotten that under our control. No, we have. Okay, so these guys are getting food and the morale should go up rather quickly now. Uh, yeah, we still got one additional general that we have to rename. So, pull you off. Hello. Come on. 
Hasperos or Feloros. Oh, damn it. Um, and we're gonna rename you... Ioannis. Right, okay, so uh, that's all the generals that I currently have. I have two more on my list, uh, Sacronos and Kratostos. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna uh, try to make that happen. We're gonna conquer new cities, and when you conquer a city, you actually have a chance of getting someone that uh, was loyal to you during the attack or something. Um, you can recruit them to be a general as well. Right. Um, yeah. What are you What are you good at, Kione? Um, what are your What are your traits? I've, it's been a while since I actually. Um, played this campaign I recorded this I think on Friday and then over the weekend I played a Etruscan campaign that was that was kind of interesting oh yeah you're the person with the skill research that's actually pretty nifty um, I think we might just want you in here doing some skill research maybe we're gonna make this our research um, city what is it um, Jella um, um, yeah, no, it doesn't really say if this was a very um, uh, bookish city, but Syracuse definitely had some philosophers and thinkers in that time, so it's fine. We're gonna we're gonna send you in, and these guys, I I gotta hope that I can retrain them. We need to get this skill over here, and then we're gonna retrain them into proper hoplites. The problem with the with the troops, or let's say our current advantage. Of troops is that we do not have to research these hoplites right because we're Greek so we just all we have to do is build a heavy infantry building uh, we would have to research the phalangite training but um, all other um, people uh, Rome for example they have to research um, a specific tech before they even can start building hoplites but uh, the downside to this is that we do not get sword fighters um, at some point, um, the Romans do get another attack where they can sort of start building sword fighters. And these are actually, um, they have about the same punch as the hoplites, but they're way more mobile. So, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> a bit of a problem. Um, we have a very good income currently. We have 290 per week, so we might actually go ahead and go for the heavy barracks here. It's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. So let's go for the barracks. And I think we'll make Heloros the city of um, our riders, of our cavalry. So make that into a thing. And then we have one city that wants to level up over there. Uh, let's make that happen. Those native, factor, uh, native faction cities, um, only the best is good enough for these guys. That's how we're going to treat them. Um, Right. Okay. So yeah, you're gonna you're gonna move in there. We're gonna leave these guys in here just to just to defend it. And then we have the first hoplites of Syracuse, who we're going to try and uh, push further up. Although, yeah, um, we've got these peltasts. Let's just go and capture. Let's just go and capture those points. And I think it might be a good idea to also capture that one. Just so that I that I get a, a look at the lo lay of the land, and yeah, let's march these guys up here. There might be there might be more um, camps that we gotta that we gotta take out. Like for example, this bandit camp over there. That's definitely something that um, has to happen at some point. Um, we do have our mm -hmm. Um They have been. Uh, level up. They already got five more people than when we started the game, and I think they also got um, additional uh, weapons or something. I would like to get those resources though, so we might just go ahead and attack this thing. It's very possible. Um, it would be a good good thing to level up the cavalry though. Um. And actually, Christophorus, since you give new units 500 XP, I'm going to pull you off of there. And we're going to send you in that city for now. Try to do that. Okay, we have our slaves capturing that uh, that logging camp. That's fine. Right, so now we're going we're gonna to try to capture these, these bridgeheads. 
And these guys are marching forward. At least now they got food. So their morale should be fine-ish. Um, yeah, these guys are missing food as well. Our building activities are not great at the moment. Yeah, we captured those bridgeheads. That's fine. Let's go ahead and actually capture those bridgeheads as well. I hope there's not a city in there. It doesn't look like it, so I'm going to try to take that one over as well. Um, what's over here? Oh, um, yeah, we can cross that. Right. So, we're going to have a look. This might not be crossable in winter. What a new region. There's another city over there. Okay, that's good to know. And yeah, there are indeed more camps. There are indeed more camps in that direction. So let's try to take them out. Um, okay, Christophorus, you're now in that city. We're going to appoint you governor. Uh, but we definitely need more wood. We need more wood and we need it now. Hmm, there's another logging camp over there. Well, I'm not sure if I can do two attacks simultaneously. But we'll, we'll try. Oh yeah, and there's, there's another city. Morgantina. Okay. Founded by Regium. That's another Greek city. Hmm. Captured by the Sicilian king Ducetius in his efforts to create a united independent Sicilian nation in 459 BCE. Hmm. Yeah. Right, so we're gonna try and take that over. I wonder if that's already a faction. I, I guess it must be. These guys still have food, so I'm gonna push a little bit further. Try to see what we can gather there. Um, our wood reserves are being drained. Doesn't make me too happy. What is that? That's just a normal raider camp. So I think we're just going to take that one out. But I'm going to keep it. I'm going to capture it. Let's do it like this. There are no raiders coming though. There are no raiders in there. Okay, let's just take it over then. Um, okay, we capture. Uh, we, we discover the faction Silonius. Oh, they're over here. Right. How are they looking? What's their power? Oh, yeah, they're way, way uh, weaker than I am. These guys, we have a truce. We could declare war. These are weary of me. I wonder. Oh, they're going to pay me 20 per week for a truce. Yeah, let's make that happen. Why not? I mean, as long as they're willing to pay tribute, we're going to be fine there. Guys, we're going to be fine. Um... Yeah, I wouldn't mind making this into a proper bridge. But it's going to cost me 150 wood. And wood seems to be very much the problem here. Okay, you guys. This has not been this has not been taken. I do want to know which faction that place belongs to. Because that could change things. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build two more workers. I actually have a crap ton of um, recruits in that city. So that's totally fine. Um, anything else? We're busy capturing over here. We could actually launch an assault on this thing. It might not be a bad idea. How's, how's that cavalry building coming along? Only 19%. That's that's a damn shame. I'm got a group of rebels. Where are they coming from? Over there. Okay. Okay. We're gonna get these guys into a battle line. Oh, well, there are more of them coming. That's not great, I gotta say. We're capturing that thing. It might be better to return to the city though. No, they're running they're running towards the city like right now. That's that's not good. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna bring these guys into Oh, they're already in skirmish formation, so let's pull them down. And we'll try to to um, start a pincer attack on these guys. We're just gonna stop them now that we're being charged because I I want to keep my formation. I wanna I wanna have that charge break. That would be good. Come on, guys, throw your javelins. You can see the range of them. Now they're gonna do it. Good. I doubt that they actually killed many of them. Yeah, we lost one guy to the charge, but this could have gone way worse. That's good. 
think we're gonna fight these guys down. We might even get some get some slaves out of this, which I would not mind at all. Okay, we've got that we've got that camp. Hello. I'm gonna connect these guys so that all our areas are connected. Do we have to connect this? Yeah, I think we do. So we're gonna keep those camps. They're gonna cost me a little bit of upkeep, but it's it's fine, I guess. March these guys over. Um, even if I were to send them over there, they they wouldn't be there at the at the right time. So it's it's futile um, to send them there. Um, these people, the hoplites of Haloros. Hmm. You can't just have you standing out there. It's, I think that's fine. Okay, let's let's try to see what we can do with this attack. Um, the enemy does have bad morale now. They really don't like fighting against us. Let's try to capture some of these fools. Yeah, you can attack me, but you're not gonna have fun doing it. Yeah, wait. Yeah, we're gonna charge these guys. Come on. Charge! Charge! Yes! Well done. Well done. Peltas of Feloros are doing good work. Definitely doing good work there. And we're gonna send these guys, charge them from the rear. Could we just, yeah, we're gonna try to actually capture those people. I wouldn't mind having more slaves available to work for me. Okay, I'm discovering new um, resource buildings. That's good. How's it looking? Yes, okay, the Peltas are gone. Now we're fighting the spear fighters. Come on, run! Do something for your money. Yeah, that is a very good unit. They're actually doing... Well, they're not necessarily doing God's work, but... Yeah, I think you could say that the Syracusans are favored by God. They're being led by me. <laughs> okay, let me... Let me capture those. And uh, now we got... Yeah, we got nearly enough people to... Uh, to go for the for the increase in morale, which is what I like to do. I could just buff them up, give them more defenses. What I like about those units is that they're very versatile. Actually, it was kind of nice to play the, the Etruscans. I played uh, Clusium down, uh, up there with uh, Lars Posenna, the, um, the king that uh, sieged Rome, according to Livy, and then was so impressed by the Romans that he just... Um, they just decided not to try and put the king of Rome back on his throne, but instead, yeah, made peace with the Romans and all that. <laughs> Hilarious story, if you think about it. Um, okay, that didn't go too well. We didn't get any slaves out of this. That's a shame. Well, doesn't really matter. I'm going to move you over there. At least we got some of them. Okay, you're just, you're just standing idly. We definitely need to bring these guys back home, like right now so doesn't really there's really much to discuss uh, i can't even do any fighting with them that's not a thing i might bring these guys ahead to um accompany them if in case they get attacked because um, they are nearly out of food they're at 451 and as soon as they're out of food their morale is gonna drop sharply oh okay these are workers of the sikiloi Right, so the this must belong to them. That's nasty. That's nasty. I guess we gotta fight against these guys first. We do have a truce currently, but they're not paying me. Okay, which city has grown enough? Oh, Syracuse! Yeah, obviously. We wanna go for that. We need a lot more wood to construct, but... Now, we're not going to gain an additional upgrade slot, but our territory is going to go up. Uh, income is going to go up by 20. That's nice. Yeah, let's do it. When mid-autumn, we have a bit of food stockpiled. I don't think that I want to conquer one of the enemy cities um, before spring. That would not be a good idea. But we could fight and we could try to get a lot of slaves out of this. I think that's going to be our strategy for, for next time. So we've got some slaves out of there. I guess I really have to bring these people back. We're gonna change the formation to a skirmish formation. And uh, yeah, these guys are also out of food. They're already set to skirmish. So bring you over. Uh, there's nothing to there's nothing to gain in this area other than a drop in morale. Uh, how, how are you guys looking? 
Okay, they're still marching under the command of Dionysos the first. Yeah, we've got a we've got a logging camp that I wouldn't mind actually getting under my control. Yeah, I tell you what. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna pull Dionysos off this. And we're gonna try to gain to get some experience on our Somatophilacus. That might be fine. And you can see that they are out of food now, so they have bad morale, as do these units. It's really a very integral part of um of any campaign to keep the food up. So we're gonna try to take this. I'm gonna try to take this. I'm kind of annoyed that they. I, I'm guessing they go, they're going for the mine, but we can raid the Sikaloi. That's fine. Um, you have 160. You have 140 recruits. We might want to do something different with Camarina than we might want to do with Jella. Um, yeah. Tell you what, we're gonna we're gonna build one, two more, and then we're gonna get that logging camp and that farm over there. Um, on our side and we're gonna take this then get that logging camp and that fishery is that on our side yes it is and that vineyard is also on our side and that farm and then these guys won't have a lot of um, a lot of stuff but we need that forward we definitely need that forward to control who comes over and uh, who doesn't so we're gonna do that in the next episode I think we're gonna attack that raider camp um, try to sort of um, Fortify our position as it currently is. I'm not happy with the amount of food that we have in our in our sittings uh, in, in our cities. I would like to store more. I would like to get more. We're here at nearly the max in terms of storage. I guess the storage capacity is the real problem. Well, you have you have still storage capacity, but all the other cities are at their at their cap. That's the reason why we're not getting more. I mean, I guess it should also be stored in these things. Is there, is there something set? Can I can I set how much is to be stored in there? Um, I think I can. I think I can tell them how much I want in there. United food consumption. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm pretty sure I could. Um, for for cities, um, tell them how much they should bring in there. Pretty sure that was a feature. Uh, I'm gonna look that up in between episodes. Oh yeah, now over here, stockpile target. Right, so you can you can tell the game to stockpile as much stuff in there as possible. It is minimal currently, and it's minimal everywhere. Do these guys have a stockpile target? Yes, they do. So any um, surplus food will be brought into these camps, even though it currently isn't. Yeah, but for now, I'm going to end it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing to the series. Thank you to all the people that have volunteered to be generals in my um, uh, in my in my series. It's a lot of fun to have you people along with me. If you aren't a general yet, you can still submit submit your Greekified name in the comments, and uh, you'll get assigned to any of the new. Um, to any of the new generals that we get. There are currently two people still on the waiting list, but uh, yeah, it can happen. So, hope you join me next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.